Welcome again. This is for my class web, a channel that normally helps the learners to continue learning even when they are at home. Now we've got this question that was tested in the KCP for the year 2019 and it was question number one. And as I read, which one of the following pairs of human body parts is used in breathing? This question is on breathing system work that was covered in class 5. Let us look at choices A, B, C, and D. Looking at choice A, we've got the lungs and there is also esophagus. I want to mention that esophagus is part of the uh, digestive system. Otherwise, lung is okay. It helps in a uh, breathing system. If you look at choice B, we've got the nose and the trachea. And I believe this could have been a better choice for that question because the nose is the uh, is the entry of the air into the trachea and the trachea itself is a pipe through which again allows air to pass into the lungs. Going to choice uh, C, why it could have not been appropriate, <coughs> it is because we've got the di diaphragm which is okay but stomach is part of um, digestive system. Again, if you look at D, we've got the nose, which, we, which, one, uh, which was okay, and there is also esophagus, which is not okay because it is part of digestive system. Briefly, let us go through the breathing system, that is the work that was being covered in class 5, and the diagram that can help us actually to remember some of these parts is, as you can see here, we've got the entry of the air, that part is the nose, and once the air gets into the, uh, into the body, it passes through the trachea or the weed pipe. This is also called the weed pipe, and this trachea, before it enters into the lungs, it is spread into two parts. Each of these parts is called bronchials. And inside the lungs, we've got the bronchials. The bronchials, and at the end of each bronchial, we've got organs that we call alveoli. They, they are actually the structures that helps in gas exchange. Now we've got the lungs which are a two and they are identical and below the lungs we've got another muscle that is called diaphragm which normally separates the lungs and the stomach. Otherwise choice B could have been the most appropriate one for that question and I would, require, I would, I would request you to continue subscribing to this channel so that you, can't, you get new materials as they are being uploaded. Thank you very much.